I want to add text. How do we do that? This is a new feature in Motion 5, too. When you go down to the text pop-up, we can create 2D text or 3D text. Well, I'm going to create a new folder because I can. There's no limit to the number of folders I create. Call it text. With the text folder selected, we're going to create 3D text. And then I'm going to click and type today's, today's schedule. Press the, press the escape key to get out of text mode. And just as with Photoshop, you grab this and drag it. You can scale this to be whatever you want. Let's just take a look at our, our um, safe zones, the apostrophe key to display, the apostrophe key to hide them. And we've got nice 3D text. It's kind of a ugly 3D. Clearly, the letters have got texture and depth, but I'd like to play with it. Here, we're going to go to the inspector. Remember, the inspector is where we make changes. And there's three controls. The HUD gives us the high-level controls, the stuff that we generally want to adjust on a moment-by-moment -moment basis. But the inspector gives us control over everything. Under text, notice that I can change the depth of my text, make it stand a little bit deeper. We can change the lighting, which is not bad. We're going to leave the lighting alone. But under, under um, material, I don't like this white plastic. I really don't. I want to make it a little bit more interesting. Let's try brown concrete. Definitely better, but a little bit too dark. Let's try blue concrete. Uh, it doesn't work at all against the green. I'd like to have it be a little bit more um, interesting than that. And I need it a little bit lighter. So let's try, oh, sidewalk. All right, now that's pretty good. We can read that clearly. It's got 3D depth. I don't have to mess with a lot of the 3D settings. By the way, I've got a, a webinar looking at 3D text in motion, which goes into this a lot more. That's available on, in our library and online. So now what I want to do is animate it and figure out where does it come in. Well, first I have the fern. Then I have the laser right about there. So I want to have my text start right there. Type the letter I to set it in. But I want to animate it. Go back to behaviors. Behaviors get things to move. And look at all these different choices I have for animation. I want to have this kind of subtly come in. Let's have it do bleary and play it. And my text just sort of comes in gently. There's today's schedule. Well, while this is playing, look up in this corner right here. See where it says FPS? That tells me how many frames per second my video is playing. It's a little bit on the slow side. To see what it looks like at real time, go to the Mark menu, go down to RAM Preview, and what this is doing is it's rendering, but not to hard disk. It's rendering to RAM. And you can see how much faster the rendering is when we're going to RAM memory as opposed to going to the hard disk. That whole scene is now rendered when I play it. It's now playing at full speed as it's racing through, and we're getting our nice today's schedule, and that's really kind of nice. Now, the last thing I want to do before I run completely out of time is go back to the text category, go to our text tool, select 2D text, and let's talk about today's schedule. First, at 6.30, we're going to do AM. We're going to do bird watching. Then at 8 o'clock a.m., it's 8.00 a.m., it's breakfast. And then at 9.30 a.m., 9.30, not 9.300, it is, what's it going to be? It's going to be a nature walk. Because we've got all this wonderful green stuff here. Escape key to get out of text mode. I'm going to hold Option and Shift down to scale this and make it the size that I want. Press the HUD, F7, increase my line spacing, decrease the size like a lot. There we go, right about there. Pull that over. All right, and now let's animate it. Let's go back to behaviors. Let's go to energetic, and let's have it do something really exciting like scramble in. In means the text enters. Out means the text exits. So we're going to select in, and we're going to play it. Here we go. From the top, fern, a little bit of a lightning swoosh in there. 
the text vaporizes in, and then our scrambling text scrambles in, and there it is. Oh, the last thing I have to do before we wrap up is I've got to add a drop shadow inspector uh, appearance all the way to the bottom, turn on drop shadow and use my favorite drop shadow settings, 95, a blur of about three, a distance of about eight. Well, that's too much of a distance. Let's set it back to five. And F8 to bring it up full screen. And look at what we've just created. Hit it again. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at how to get started with Apple Motion 5.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 160. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than $12. Hundred movies, hundreds of hours, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any Power Up webinar for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com/membership. And thanks.